Okay, um, good evening you too. How you doing? I am going to show you um, how to hack TapZoo with this program right here, Discade. But first you need to hook up your iPod, which I've already done to my computer. I'm going to open up iTunes, get that going. Come on, iTunes. Let's go. Okay. Let go ahead and do its thing there. Okay. Well, that's doing that. And I'm going to show you this program, Discade. Uh, you can get it from these websites. That's where you can get this gate. Okay. Now, this is where you can get the other program called SQLite Database Browser. And it is And there it is. And there's the link for SQLite database browser. And this is the link for uh, Discape. Okay. So there you go. Now this is done. It's good. Now when you download Discape, okay, you're going to open it up. So that's what we're going to do right now. And it is detecting the iPod, what it's doing. That's why it's loading. And I'm going to show you that this is a trial version. When you download it, you'll download a trial version. That's what this is here. It means that they want you basically to buy the full version. Well, you don't have to if you download a cracked version <gasps> off of... Bit Junkie, which is a torrent site, if you know anything about bit torrents. And um, or you can Google it. Uh Discate Torrents, whatever. And all kinds of stuff should pop up. Now this is still loading. It takes a little it takes a little while to load. But when it's done, when it is done. Shazam! Look at that. And we got all this stuff here. This is everything on my iPod. Now, <clears throat> when you first run Discade, you're not going to get all this stuff, okay? I'll tell you right now. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go to, we have to go to, I believe it's help. Nope, sorry. Wrong one. You have to go to preferences under Discade, and you want to go under advanced. And under advanced, you want to see it says show root paths for apps, show hidden. Oh, here we go. Show hidden files and folders. You want to check that. And that's that. You want to make sure that the, all this stuff is checked here under advanced, the advanced tab. Okay. So we can close that. Now here is my. It's already there. My tab zoo. It's right to tap so we just scroll down and look for tap so and you should find it and there it is okay and now here's all my 
there's all my folders here. This is the one you really want. GameState.db. GameState.db is a database file, and it has all your information on there. So you're just going to click and drag that right to your desktop. There it is. And now you should have SQLite database browser installed, and make sure to make a shortcut. It just makes it easier to get to it. We're going to go ahead and run that. Okay. We're going to click GameState.b from the desktop right onto SQ database browser, and boom, there it is. And then you're going to go to this tab. It says Browse Data. And you're going to scroll down to Users. And that's you. You're the user. And under here, you can modify your coins. You can modify all kinds of good stuff. You can modify your gold. You can modify... Uh, well, you can you can mess around with it, but I'd be careful what you adjust in here because you could screw up your game and then you'd have to start all over again. So it would be a good idea to make a backup of GameState.db before you start mess, messing around with it. Close that out, and how you do that is you can rename it and see this extension here you can rename it you can rename the extension old or you can just rename you know this give it like game state one or something just make sure to rename it okay that's basically what I'm trying to tell you to do just so you have a backup in case you screw up so and uh, oh, oh yeah Okay, let's open this up again because I forgot to tell you something. I forgot to tell you something about that. Put your DB back in there. Once you get done messing around, doing all kinds of stuff, whatever you want to do, under Users, make sure that you make sure that you hit this up here and save it because if you don't, then everything you did won't be saved. So just click that up there, save it. Close that out. Open up your disk gate again. Then you're going to click and drag this right back over here. And it's going to say a file with the same name, GameState.b, already exists in this location. Would you like to replace it? You're going to say yes. But since uh, I didn't modify anything, I'm just going to say no. So basically, I'm not going to mess around with it. And then that's it. And if you have any questions, email me. And I, once again, these are the these are the, the links you need to go to if uh, you know if you still need help. I'll try to answer all your questions. But there it is. So go there, get the program, modify your tabsu, and have a blast. Bye.